The Knolls offense got off to a fast start, scoring touchdowns on their first two drives, and the defense dominating, holding Boston College without a first down in the second and third quarters as Florida State won 45 to seven. Um, you seen the energy that like it took over the game. Like when we when we start fast like that, the defense feed off of us, and when the defense go out there and get a stop, we feed off them. So you know, for us to start fast tonight and let the offense, let the defense feed off us, you know, it was it was a good thing for this team. And you know, we played together all three phases of the game, and that, and that just made the the game you know go how how we planned it. Yeah, it, it allowed us to you know relax a little bit more, not be as much as tense, you know. So. It, it was good, you know, starting fast and, you know, on defense, you know, we did some good things too. I think it was huge. I think it was the next step we needed to take as a defense, as a unit, that, that, we, could, that we could do it as a good team like, like BC is and we just proved to ourselves that we, get, that we could be that defense. Yeah, you know, that was a good um, jump for us, man. You know, that energized us, made us want to go out there and play and keep, and keep the um, intensity going. Love the way they come out and started the game. Played really well defensively, offensively, very efficient, taking the first two drives down, played really well, got ahead. And, uh, you know, that was one of our challenges, get ahead, stay ahead, and keep playing from ahead. I think that, uh, you know, once we did start fast, I think everybody, you know, kind of hopped on board on both sides of the ball and special teams. It meant a lot because, you know, that's been something that we probably made the biggest point on as an offense is starting fast rather than having that counter punch, you know, rather just having that first punch, that way we get on top, just build on from that. I call it Sean, Mr. Always Ready, you know, Mr. Always Ready, because, you know, every time we call his number, man, he ready to go. No questions asked, his coach is giving me the play, I'm going to make the play. So, you know, yeah, Sean's always ready for this team, and he's, he's a big piece, and, he's, you know, he, he know it. He probably has my utmost respect, because, you know, seeing where he came from, you know, going to the season, you know, having a battle, and then, had that, uh, fortunately had that injury, but you know his attitude never changed. You know he was always helping Dre, he was always helping me, even on the sideline in practice when I didn't know what to do. So he never was out of it. So I respect him a lot. Yeah, it was nice, obviously, to get out there on senior day and you know do that. And when DeAndre got hurt, you know I just had to be ready. Yeah, it was nice, you know, you know being with Freddie for the past four years, and you know, it was kind of a nice, nice way to end it. His parents ought to be the proudest parents in the world. And that guy right there is, is salt of the earth. And what he, whatever you ask him to do, again, another great teammate, another great senior, uh, what he's achieved, the big games he's played, the city, whatever you, yes, sir, I'll do it. And goes in and performs every time he goes in with a lot of heart and a lot of toughness. I mean, just very proud and happy for him. Next up, the Knolls take their final road trip of the season as they head up to Syracuse to take on the Orange next Saturday. Got to wrap up things for now. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.